it's an honor uh, to be here with uh, so many people who have spent so much time fighting discrimination, including anti-Semitism, and not just here on the dais, but also many people around in the room. I first met uh, this young man last uh, spring at the March of the Living in Krakow, introduced to me by Avram Grant. And over the last year, thanks to my colleague, Rolla Brentman, uh, Chelsea Football Club has developed a very good relationship uh, with Johnny and his activities. And uh, hopefully it's a situation where one and one makes three. Um, I would like to start with a simple question that might be in your minds. And that question is, why would a Premier League football club in Southwest London start a say no to anti-Semitism campaign, engaging in numerous activities and supporting many others, including this one here today uh, for the Silent Heroes? The answer is simple. It's down to one man, the owner of Chelsea Football Club, Roman Abramovich. Uh, all of us, including Mr. Abramovich, have noted the increase in anti-Semitic behavior over the last few years. The incident at the supermarket in France, the incident very recently at the synagogue in Pittsburgh, the rise of anti-Semitic <coughs> activities in Germany, and even as our honorable member of uh, parliament said, uh, the rise in anti-Semitic activities here in the UK. Um, Roman Abramovich has the ability to try to do something in these areas, and he instructed everyone at Chelsea Football Club to put their minds together and do something. And uh, we call it Say No to Anti-Semitism. Uh, it was started with a bit of a fanfare last January, and we have engaged in numerous projects with many organizations that you've heard of around the world, including the World Jewish Congress, the Anti-Defamation League, the Holocaust Trust, the Community Security Trust, Chinese Charity, and many others. At the core of our act activities is education. We believe that education, education, education is the way that will make a real dent in anti-Semitism. We need to show people <coughs> this is wrong. We have to explain history and how we got here. From this comes our support of Johnny and the, the taxi initiative he is launching today. It is a good project, and hopefully it will get good publicity, because that also helps. We need to inspire people. We need to show and educate people as to where hatred can lead. And we need to inspire them to stand up and fight intolerance and discrimination. Johnny is trying to do that. So are many others. Hopefully, over time, we will have a noticeable impact. As a large supermarket chain in the UK says, every little bit helps. Thank you very much.